We kick off Bundesliga Season 2 today with the away game against Hamburg as a brand new episode of Big Bad Wolfsburg. The Big Bad Wolf. The Big Bad Wolf. Welcome back to the Force Night YouTube channel. Welcome back to Big Bad Wolfsburg on Football Manager 2017. And yeah, today... Bundesliga season two, first game of the season. It's away against Hamburg. Won't be a very long one today, I don't think, because there's not a lot of developments transfer-wise. A few friendlies to go for off-screen, and then that's it. So, uh, might be a bit of a short one today, if that's the case. I might get another one out tomorrow as well, but we'll wait and see. So, as you can see, uh, there's a bunch of transfer stuff done. Uh, now, there's not a lot of people that you don't know about, or the people that I've signed, the people that I actually went through last video let's go through the outs first of all there's a few more i think we're left off around the right one time yannick gerhardt has now gone to buy München. 16 million pounds uh, initial fee could rise to 23 i think we've got a good amount for him you know it's more than uh we paid for him so that's fine also uh, francisco rodriguez has gone out on loan and segwin's gone out on loan there's nothing else we need to talk about there so that did leave us with a bit more money in our transfer window now if we have a look down here you can see we still have 23 million in our budget and we've still got a huge wage budget so we could really bring in like a marquee signing and i think the position we'd need that is probably on the right hand side like a right winger so there's some good players you could bring in for that sort of money i mean we're looking at guys like bernadeschi maybe um berardi someone like that there's some options out there and um you know there's still plenty of time left in the transfer window there's still going to be three league games to play before an international break and then uh, the window will be closed and we'll take on Dortmund. So I reckon we can get in like a proper marquee signing. You can see some friendlies up there as well and a uh, Bundesliga DFB Parkow game. So let's have a look at the rest of these. Now where we left off, uh, we beat Konya Sport 3-1. Since then, it's not gone as well. We drew 0-0 with Neil, who are a away team, I'm guessing in France. Then we lost 1-0 to uh, Hitafe. Not a great result here. Uh, Gonzalez with uh, the goal for them. We weren't too bad. Going forward, not great though. Didavi played poorly. And also um, Gomez. And Searsleben played. Whoever the hell that is. Centre-back. Um, like I said, the assistant played these games and then we didn't really pick any of the teams. So that's why he played. A 3-1 win against uh, Red Bremen. Max Cruz scored for them. There was a Sane own goal and a double by Munyain. Not too bad there. Then we lost 1-0 to uh, Kasim Paza, who I'm guessing the Turkish... They are Turkish, yeah. We lost 1-0 to them. That was a pain. And then the 3-0 win over Balogun. I'm going to show you the goals from this, seeing as it is a competitive game. So the first goal was by Guido Carrillo from a Didavi 3 kick in the 29th minute. Five minutes later, Didavi doubled the lead himself with a direct free kick in off the bar. Nice finish and 2-0. And then Didavi scored his uh, second goal of the game in the 90th minute. Batshuayi with the assist as well. Uh, Didavi with a long range strike. And it was a 3-0 win. Nice and comfortable. And it made us through to the next round of the cup. Where, as you'll see, we've been drawn against Stuttgart. Who have just been promoted back to the Bundesliga. I've still got the Europa League group stage to be drawn. I don't know when that is, actually. That might be after this game. Oh, it's okay. So it's after the... Uh, it's after the Minds game, so uh, we won't see it this episode. I'll make sure to tweet out about it, though, so if you follow me on Twitter, you will see who our Europa League draw is against. Next episode, I think we will go with that first game, seeing as it's a season back in Europe. And then we have a crunch game at home against Bayern, so that would be a nice uh, stopping point for next episode. I think get four games done off screen, and we'll see if there's any more transfers made, because there's still a couple of weeks left. So let's go through the rest of the players we signed then. So you know about these three players here. And we had a look at these two, but we have now fully signed them. So Michi Batshuayi on loan from Chelsea. Now, I wasn't sure about this because of how much we'd actually be paying Chelsea. We're paying £28,000 a week of his contract, which I think was about 40%. Uh, we're paying £275,000 a month. And uh, if we don't use him, we're paying £525,000. Now, it says unused monthly fee. I'm guessing you have to play him a certain amount. So it says down, it says under the 275, 12% of minutes played this month. I'm not sure what that means. Is that how much we're actually using him now? I'm not sure. That doesn't, it doesn't really tell you that, does it? It doesn't really tell you how much you actually have to play him to avoid paying that monthly fee. Because if it just means he gets to on a pitch, we'll substitute him at like 80 minutes every game. It's simple as that. 
Uh, now, Sebastian Korcher. Now, I was going to ask an opinion about this, but I thought, you know, I need to play ahead and I need to get to the next game, so I can't really do that because I was filming like two days in advance. So, well, I have decided to go with Korcher ahead of uh, Frederick Gilbert. Uh, the reason being that at this moment in time, Korcher is better and we need a right back who at this time can just come in and just do the job. Now, Gilbert is very, very good. I mean, technically, Korcher is much better. Gilbert had more potential, though. He could be four and a half star player, and he had four years. But at this point in time, I think Korcher would have been the better option. So we've gone with him. We have paid a bit more than we would have paid for Gilbert. 8.75 million is the fee. But I've got no regrets at all, and we've still got some money to play with as well, as I said. Another 23 million pounds in the transfer budget, and we can get in a proper game changer. And I think the right side of the pitch, the right wing, would be where we need to improve. So I'll look at those off screen and I'll show you who I sign if I sign anyone next episode. Uh, we're going to jump into a game. Now it's the first game of the season. It's an away game against Hamburg. Now how do we do against them last season? So last season we did beat them twice. It was a 3-2 win. Uh, that was in the final uh, episode of the last season. That was an interesting game. They had a red card and two mad goals. And then we beat them 2-1 in December. Blasikovsky and Didavi getting the goals there. So, but you know, we beat them twice last season. We're unbeaten against them. We've won all the time. So hopefully we can do this again today. They're playing a 4-2-3-1. We'll probably match that formation. Although Daniel Didavi did pick up an injury at the end of that game against uh, the, um, the cup side. So uh, he's out for three to four months. That's not good. Knee tendonitis. That's a big miss. So in that cam spot, we are going to play Eunice Mali today. Uh, we are going to go with uh, Mario Gomez up top. Also, Batshuayi has got a bit of a knock. He's uh, back in a couple of days. Just a bruised head, though. He could play through that. What's his uh, conditioning like? It's actually not great. And also, his Simmons out as well. Dearie me. Simen has got a thigh strain. He's only out for a day, though. So uh, not a lot of options up front. I think it's just going to be Gomez and Carrillo. Uh, so uh, we'll leave it at that. Pronunciation. So it is uh, Predrag. And his surname is Reykjavik, which I wasn't too far off, actually. As for our new Turkish centre-back, his first name is Chagla. Uh, apparently, the surname is uh, Soyuncu. The C is a bit more of a J in Turkey. I had a look at this, and I had a look at, actually, the Turkish alphabet and everything, because I like to try and know how to pronounce my player's name. So, it is Chagla, and the surname is Soyuncu. But I think, just to make things easier, we'll call him Chagla. Uh, as for the rest of this team, I think we are going to start Ricardo Rodriguez... Uh, Chaglar and Nock, I think, will stay in the middle. Do we want Korcha or do we want Trask? I'm going to go with Trask today, just for that experience. Uh, in the middle, uh, Arnold and Luis Gustavo, I think. Richly Bazoa is back, so he will, you know, he'll get plenty of games this season, I'm sure. Hopefully, he doesn't get a big injury. It's last season, yeah, an Achilles injury, which ruled him out for about half the season. Not great at all. On the right-hand side, we'll go with Blaszczykowski. And on the left, um, I think we'll go with Paul George and Tep. Now, let's try and get a bench out there. We do want to get Mooney Iron on the bench. I'll leave Ito on the bench. Ito should get a lot more games this season. We didn't see him a lot last time around. He's got a great future as the 18-year-old left-back. I think if we need him, he can do a job. We might need to get like a backup, though. If we've got a bit of spare money at the end, I think a backup left-back might be needed because we sold uh, Yannick Gerhardt. We are favourites at evens. Uh, one game played already. Bayern 5-0 winners over Darmstadt. That's the only game we've seen so far. And the uh, Hamburg team. Adler, Santos, Mavroy, Juru, Dickmeyer, Holtby, Wallace, Hunt, Mihalovic, Muller and Lasoga. Hopefully we're going to have to have a great start. It took until the third to last uh, game to win a live com, Which was against Hamburg actually. That was our first live com win last season hopefully we can do it first time of asking today we can get it out of the way let's see we do have possession here 15th minute of the game blaschikovsky with the ball and he's loses out to douglas santos and here is muller on the attack now 15th minute of the game and it's a goal great start 15th minute they take the lead oh dear well at least it didn't take less than three minutes like it did for england to concede i was at that game it was a bad start but we won in the end so that was good Hopefully we can come out with this and turn things around. Muller on the attack. I mean, there was no closing down at all there by uh, by the right back Trask and then Lasaga pretty much unmarked. Not a good goal to concede. Easy really. And they're coming forward again here. Lewis Holtby, good tackle by Gustavo, but we're not lost out yet. And uh, Hunt hits the bar. Santos with it still, and uh, Gustavo with a foul there. Now they've got a free kick in a in a good position here. Santos will take it. 
And uh, we need to clear this here. We're not started this game very well. Gustavo with a good tackle. Long ball up to Gomez. Now can he bring forward the play in tap? Loses out to Deepmire. Not a great start to this game here. Going to ask them to close down more. We're going to try and play slightly higher up. Up the tempo a bit and just try and spread the play a bit more. Try and go a bit wider. We haven't started this game very well at all. Let's go a bit more fluid as well. Free kick. It's with Robin Nock. Here is uh, Chagla, the Turkish making his uh, league debut. Go, Mr. Bleshikovsky. Eunice Mali forces a save from Adler. That's a decent effort. Had a couple of shots on target and that was a good chance. But not enough attacks here. We're going to try and go attacking, actually. Only a two or three shots is not great. And not a great half by us. We may have edged it possession-wise, but Hamburg with uh, plenty of shots. Only a handful for us. Not a great game, really, for us. So we're going to try and attack. Uh, we'll just leave the uh, shapers just flexible. Let's stay balanced. Turn off, exploit the flanks. I don't know why they were on. Try and be a bit more expressive. Second half, we need to see some improvements, please. We've had a few more shots, but coming up to the hour, they've got a corner, and uh, it's a penalty. Uh, Blaszczykowski with a foul on Hunt, and Hamburg set to maybe double their lead here. This is not going very well. Radkovic with his first big challenge here. Can he save the penalty? Yes, he can! Oh my god, that's brilliant. Well done. Okay, right. Now, he was gonna, not going to play every single game this season. I was going to really rotate between him and Benaglio, but... If he's going to start saving penalties, he'll play him a lot more. Right. Into the team talk. I'm going to demand a bit more because I'm not very happy with this. Oh, no, push forward. Push forward. Because only six shots compared to their 15. Not very good. Goal kick. Can we do something with this? It's with Mario Gomez. Here's Eunice Mali to Arnold. Tries to run Blaschikowski, but it doesn't. Gustavo heads it forward, but gives it back to Hamburg. Now, here's Hunt. Now, they're on the attack again here. Great tackle there. Gustavo P puts through Gomez. Go on, Mario. Go on. Go on. Oh, yes, it's an equaliser. I mean, we shouldn't really be in this possession. We should be walking away with this, but we have equalised. 68th minute. Great long ball to Mario Gomez. Took it away from the defender. One-on-one -on -one with Rene Adler. And, well, Adler not doing great there, but we have an equaliser. So we're going to encourage the team now. Come on, if you can get another one, brilliant. 17 minutes played. They're going to look at making some changes because we've not done too well today. Um, defended okay. We've not been too bad there. Mali's been pretty poor today. I'm going to bring a player just back into the middle alongside Arnold. We're going to bring on Richley Bazoa. And uh, I'm going to make Arnold box to box. I'm also going to bring on uh, Mooney Iron for a tap. So a double change. Hopefully we can make a few more attacks and just try and control the midfield a bit more. <sighs> Last 10 minutes of the game. Come on. Get a winner. Last... Well, oh, only three minutes left. Right. Um, Gustavo's really tired of that. Gilavogi's going to come on just for the last few, few minutes. An well, away draw is not bad. We'd only like to start with the win, but Hamburg, a lot of shots compared to, well, we've got double I, we did. Late chance, maybe? No, 1 1 final score. Yeah, unlucky, I guess. I'll say that. Wasn't our day. It's motivated then, you know, we can do better. Mali, kind of quiet. I mean, with the Darby out, we need, really need to rely on him. If he's not going to. Deliver the goods. Maybe he shouldn't be. It's not really been that successful a player, really. Three and a half star. I'll suggest he should be, but last last season, only started twelve games, only scored three goals. Didn't really come up for him. And he was predicted to be one of the top scorers. He just hasn't really delivered the goods for me. The first touch is going down. Physicals are going down. Well, he's not really been that great for me. So uh, after that, we sit in sixth place. Still a few teams to play their games, though. So uh, it doesn't really mean anything now. It's the first game of the season. All right, so we're only going to play three games off screen. A bit of a shorter video today. I'm going to try and get one uploaded the following day as well. Uh, next episode, we'll have our first Europa League group game and a home game against Bayern. That should be interesting. Bayern winning the league last time round. If we can overthrow the champions, that would be a good statement. And also, still plenty of money to play with in the transfer window. So, you know, with that, I'm sure we can get in a massive sign-in. We'll definitely try. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like down below, leave comments. And if you want to see videos as and when this and up on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next episode for the first Europa League group game. We'll find out who we get um, on Twitter as well. If you follow me, you'll find out who we get drawn with. Uh, we'll also have a home game against Bayern. Hopefully, you'll join me for that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.